Hey guys, what's going on here? Today we're going to be doing a Dokkan Battle update on both the Global and the JP side. So um, I was going to do this over the weekend. Um, I did work Friday like I told you guys earlier in the week. It threw off my schedule a little bit. Um, and yesterday it was so beautiful out. I ended up taking my motorcycle out for a really nice ride. I was out for about four or five hours. Um, and then I ended up watching all the DC movies. I haven't seen any of them. Um, I started off, I think I watched um, the uh, Justice League movie. Um, actually it was Wonder Woman first, then Justice League, and then the... Uh, Batman for a Superman movie. I had already seen the Superman movie and then I watched Suicide Squad. I know it's all out of order, but honestly, you didn't really need it. I mean, the only thing that was kind of like there that you needed was the whole thing with Wonder Woman, but it wasn't a big deal to figure out who she was, like knowing who she was in the beginning. It was like, oh, they don't know who she is at this time. So um, anyway, that was a really interesting, like I liked, I liked it. Uh, Suicide Squad was kind of whack in terms of like plot point and what they were doing and like why was Harley Quinn even there? I mean, I guess she was there like as a sex object, I guess. Um, but I mean, like she didn't even have a butt. <laughs> uh, at least that's my opinion on it. But uh, I, I thought it was an overall good series so far. I just wasn't too thrilled with Suicide Squad because it didn't make any sense to me. But this isn't a review video about that. Today we're doing an overview. I just want to let you know where I was doing over the weekend. Um, I'm going to be talking about the thousand day login celebration. Um, a little bit and the jp side and the new april fools thing that came out on both the global and the jp side so dolly battle is april fools guys it's not actually a game mode where you get to date dragon ball z females <laughs> all right so uh i'm kind of happy too because i didn't i did not want to cover content on that um so first things first on the global side b pan missions are not showing up that is because it's supposed to be doing, I guess, a Monday through Friday thing now instead of just on Sundays. It's changed. The new one will be around in 12 hours. It hangs around all week rather than just Sunday. So um, I was actually concerned with this because I, I myself, I didn't read the news. So um, thanks to the Red Out and shout out to the Reddit for that information because I didn't do that. Um, again, this video is going to be a little bit of an overview of everything, so I'm not going to be going in-depth. I'll be doing more in-depth stuff this week. So uh, anything that I missed here, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below so I can cover it in a future video. Um, but yeah, so B-Pan missions are done. Ticket banner is now live. Um, I will be saving all my tickets like I did last time for you guys. And I will do a massive summoning video. So if you guys want to hold off and do some summons with me, feel free to. If not, just let me know. Whatever, Whenever I release a video, let me know if you guys ended up pulling something really cool. All right. So I did one or two summons. I got like an R and an SR. So I wasn't too happy with it. I wasn't thrilled. Uh, I'm really hoping for a Super 17, but every single Dokkan Fest exclusive is on this banner. So trying to get him is like, I think it was like a 0.17% rate or something like that to get like the one SSR that you really want because every single one of them is on this banner. But with that being said, I really, really hope I can get a Super 17 or a Gogeta. I would prefer 17 just because I want that mono extreme agility team. I do have LR Gohan, so there's no need for me to have a Super Intelligence Gogeta, though it would make the team that much better. Um, and plus my Fusions team. But uh, anyway, that's that. The banner is live. Thousand day celebration information. We get login campaign, 10 uh, stones initially, which if you log in, as soon as you log in, get 10 stones. Um, then you get stones daily. You get tickets and various daily items. Um, you get special missions. Um, peel off trove pack, which honestly, I don't recommend buying it, guys. I really don't. But for what it's worth, if you go ahead and check out one of D Monty's videos, he did an overview of it. And I kind of understand where he was coming from. The What you're spending is about $50 if you get all five packs, right? <clears throat> Those five backs give you a total of 15 summons, or yeah, well, 15 individual summons. The regular pack gives you 18 summons when you buy 91 Dragon Stones for $45. So you're spending you're spending five more dollars for three less summons, but you get one Grand Elder Kai per summon. I mean, if you compare that to probably something like the um, the, the type banners where you get two Elder Kai's, then it might not be worth it. Uh, personally, I don't think those Awakening Medals are worth it at all. Uh, especially if you do those Master Roshi trainings, then you don't need those Platinum uh, Turtle Shells that are part of that pack. Uh, so I don't think it's worth it. I will not be buying those packs. If they were like $5 a piece, then I would probably pick one or two up. But there's not even, like, if they added potential, that, you know, what is, if they added potential orbs in there, then I would say for $10, it would be worth it. But it's not, you know what I mean? So but that's that. That's what I think. I feel like for special events, they should give us a nice discount pack that you could buy once. They're not doing that. They're just super greedy. Whatever, it's Bandai. Um, new stage to Pan's Adventure can challenge the event twice a week until 417. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait. That means that the new Pan gets her Dokken Awakening. So that's going to be really sick. Um, not, not specifically for her, but uh, just because it's cool because she will do a lot more recovery, especially if you need her for doing the Omega Shenron missions uh, for the Dokken event. Thousand dollar, a thousand dollar, thousand login uh, campaign banner. Tickets can be obtained via login missions and peel off pack. 
Banner is not available until two. Well, it's already available as of now, the time of this recording. Tech Banner returns, and Raditz event is 4.5 to 4.24. I would recommend you guys to at least get him up to Super Attack 10 with all four Dupe is unlocked and Doken Awaken him. He does mass damage to all enemies when you Doken Awaken him, so he can be pretty decent for you on a World Tournament team. Um, if you don't have any nuke that, that's already there. LR Broly obviously still trumps him. Uh, Thousand Day Celebration Missions Part 1, 3.30 to 4.9. Consuming 30 Stamina Day rewards 2 time Thousand Day tickets. Clearing 10 Doken events until 4.9 rewards 10 stones total, one for each time. So um, you're going to need to go ahead and do some Doken events. I'm pretty sure you can just do the easy normal events as well within the Doken events, and that will count. Uh, I'm just personally doing the, the Frieza events just because I need to get more of those medals. Consuming 1,000 stamina rewards, 1 Elder Kai. Um, 1,000 day celebration missions, part 2, 4, 9 to 4, 19. 30 stamina day, 2 time tickets. Clearing 30 stages total, awards 7 stones. Performing Extreme Z Awakening rewards 3 stones. Uh, heavily implies Broly's Easy Awakening is coming. Um, and spending 1k stamina reward, 1 diamond Hercule statue. That's meh. Um, I mean, you're going to get there if you're doing everything else, but um, the Extreme Z Awakening, I'm kind of hoping that the Broly one comes. That would be really awesome. I have my Broly. I want him to get Extreme Z Awakened. I don't have a hybrid Saiyan team, so like I did with the other event when the um, uh, Super Saiyan 3 one came around, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I will let you know what team I use to beat level 30 if I can do it. But anyway, that's that. Um, that's pretty awesome. This is uh, ready live, so go ahead, log in, get, get your rewards. Um, $10 for three ticks. I already talked about this. This is the, the peel off Strove thing I just wanted to talk about. Um, I already talked about it. Oh, you could buy three times at a, in a row. So either there's five different attribute packs. So that's $50 per for all of them one time. Uh, not worth it, in my opinion, you guys. Don't buy it. It's not. If, if they added potential orbs in there, then I would say it would probably be worth it. But for what you're getting in there, it's definitely not. Uh, moving over to the JP side. Dayukon Battle, or it's the Dolly Battle, as the global side I put it, because the download came about, I don't know, I, download, I logged in today and I saw it. Um, I'm not going to go over everything here. Um, all I'm going to say is, if you click on it, essentially it just shows a whole bunch of different Dragon Ball characters in different world scenarios, where they're like, oh, you can do certain things and end up dating and marrying whatever your favorite Dragon Ball CV female, and I'm just like... Why would anyone who's playing, I mean, I don't know, I, I guess I looked at the comments and on some of the Facebook and people were excited about this and I was just like, I I'm sorry, you know, if, if, if you are a follower of my channel and you were excited about that, I am sorry to tell you this is an April Fool's joke. I, I would not play that myself. I don't, I, I already play Bleach Brave Souls, which I will talk about at the end of this video. Um, and I play Dokkan Battle, JP side as well. And I have a couple other things that I do for some basic logons for. So I would not add one, I don't have time to add another game into it, and two, I would not add a game for simulated dating. I don't want to date in the real world, so I don't want to date in a freaking imaginary world. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, that's going to be released by tomorrow. I think we're getting a character as well for this, like it's a special login character, which is going to be available, I'll show you in a second on the JP side. But that's that, so guys, it's an April Fool's joke, it has to be. We'll probably get a, a character login for that, and I'll show you exactly what they look like in a minute. Um, for the JP side, Turles Doken event is up. He is weak to giant category and has a countdown before he completely heals on phase three. Um, so there's that. Um, the the Tora, the Cora of the Tora, Turles is also apparently a movie leader boss or a, a movie boss leader. So that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see over here, JP data download. So all the waifus are on one card. That's what we were talking about for the uh, for the actual April Fool's joke. So that's pretty awesome. So they're all there in one card. Um, we will go and talk about her in a second. We have the new the Spirit Bomb Goku, the physical one gets a Doken Awakening. Um, we have Turles, T-U-R Turles, Great Ape Turles and his Doken Awakening, and the new boss category. So for the Waifu April Fool's thing, this is who they are right here. Um, all of them, it's just all of them in one unit or in one card, so that way you can say, oh hey, look at that, I have all the female units in the game in one card, and you can make a Waifu team out of it. They serve no purpose whatsoever. When you look at the max stats, literally 1 for 2018. So that just shows you right there, they are meant for April Fools. They're here for, you know, April 1st, 2018. I mean, that's actually cool. I kind of like how they did the HP attack and defense like that. Uh, and it cost the 99. Guys, you're never going to run them. Don't. I don't even think you're, they're going to be made playable in the game because of that. But they're all there for you to, I guess, look at. I mean, I, they even have Ranfan in there. That's just interesting. Whatever. Um, so that's that. Next one is going to be this Goku. Um, I will be doing a full team building on this information, by the way. Um, this is the Goku right here. He's not that. He doesn't look that bad. I don't know what his um, stats are actually going to be. Uh, well, not stats. Uh, his actual moves. I didn't look up the actual translations for this, so that's why I said I will be doing a, a full review of this. It does look like the intelligence attribute type will have defense reduced by 43%. 
So if you have a double lead, they won't have any defense, which I that's never going to really become that, you know, useful for you. Um, it looks like he is getting Fierce Battle, so that's awesome. Um, and he gets attack plus 10% up and defense plus 20% up for, up for each belt ball you get. So energy, so each uh, energy ball you get, key orb you get, you're going to get attack plus 10% and defense plus 20%. So he's going to be doing a lot of tanking. That's going to be really, really useful. Uh, I still don't think he's going to be that that primary on a mono physical team if you're running the most primary units or S tier units, just because he doesn't have Super Saiyan. But uh, he's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, the other one, this is the Turles over here that's going to be available, movie boss leader. Um, I pretty, I like it. I think it's a cool category. We'll we'll talk uh, briefly about it before because we're not going to do a team building guide here. Um, this is a TUR variant, key plus three HP attack and defense plus 150% up for all movie boss leaders. Um, and then we have the Great Ape Turles with his Doken Awakening as well. So that's finally a thing. Um, that's pretty awesome. He gets attack plus 15% also. He gets the Fierce Battle. So there's that. And then this is the, the actual movie boss leader category. So we have all the golden freezes. Um, that's Dragon Ball Super, by the way, for when that movie came out. We have all the Koras. We have Android 13s. Um, yeah, Bojack. Well, actually, Bojack, that's pretty awesome. We have Beerus. But he's not really a, a, a villain, because if you look here, he's super type, but whatever. Um, we have the Janemba, which I'm super hyped about. That means Janemba's going to be on there. You have the other Turluses, which is going to be... Well, you, can, I don't even, you know what? I don't know why they added all these different Turluses to the category. I guess unless you're running them as a leader, because you can't run two Turluses on the same team. So if you run one Turlus as a leader or within that team, like an extreme leader type, uh, and you run a Turlus for support, and then you have a Turlus friend, you could do that. Um, Broly's and Jan yeah, Janemba and Tapion. And that's about it. I don't know why Tapion's there. So yeah, that's all that information there. So that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that that's happening. Finally, we have movie boss category leader. So I'm pretty hyped about that. But um, yeah, so that's going to be a thing. And that's going to be, that's already released. Um, in terms of that, Turles Banner is up. The Turles Banner has Agility, Tapion, Full, uh, FF Cooler, Korra, um, Final Form Korra, Strength Janemba, Tech Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan Broly, and Tech Beerus. Not that bad of a banner lineup. Um, and Turles' passive requirement from what it looks like Turles, is tra Turles transforms 25% chance when HP goes below 80% and it lasts for three turns. So I think that's about it. Um, overall, that's everything here. Um, I don't want to go too full in depth on anything else. I will be going to a full team building guide of the new Turles units, the two of those two Turles units, the Goku unit. Um, and I guess we'll, we'll talk more in depth about the thousand day login campaign. Um, I, I don't really think there's anything else that I forgot to go over here, um, but I'll, I'll at least talk about it and maybe uh, some of the upcoming uh, Dokkan banners that should be coming around the corner. But uh, anyway, guys, that's all the information I have for Dokkan Battle. I'm going to just talk about uh, the Bleach Brave Souls now. The Bleach Brave Souls, if you guys have been following it, we have the new banner that's out. It's for the new manga characters. Now, I did a whole bunch of summons. I did not record any of those summons, so I apologize for all of you who were, who wanted to see that. Um, I got Rukia, so I'm happy. And I, had, I got Stark, and Stark was one of the characters that I did not have in the game. So I'm pretty hyped about that. Um, I ended up getting nothing else that I didn't already have. I want that Renji personally. There's been a lot of, if you guys have been following the community, there's a lot of crap talk about the banner. Everyone, not that many people are impressed by it. I'm personally hyped by it. I, and plus, I got Rukia. Rukia was the number one that I wanted. reason why I wanted Rukia is because I have no real good SP agility units. I mean, the one thing that stinks about her, um, about, about her specifically being an SP speed unit, is that she's an Iran car killer, and I do have the, um, the Lunar Ichigo. Which I'm cool with, you know, because, you know, I, I can't say that I don't have a really good one, but he has that charge attack. I'm a big fan of charge attacks, but I also want an additional someone else to run other than him because he doesn't come in handy for every single situation. But Rukia was pretty damn legit, especially the fact that she's immune to free. She's gonna, she'll make doing some co ops a lot better. Um, so I, I, you know, I was supposed to do a video this past weekend, I just didn't do it. So um, I will be doing something about that at some point. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. You have a good one.